What is up everyone, welcome back to another figure unboxing and today I'm taking a look at Max Factory's 17th scale Racing Miku 2014 EV Mirai version. And again this video would not be possible if it wasn't for those awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan so if you want one of these for yourself then make sure to check out that link down there in the description. But anyway, let's get to the unboxing. This is a pretty sizable box for a 17th scale figure but as you can see it looks pretty damn cool. On the front there we've got a window into the figure as well as three small little holes which just looks really cool. I don't know about you, but I love little details like this on a box. And the same goes for that big pink outline all around the window. Also, we've got this huge picture of Miku over here on the right, the awesome illustration around here on the right hand side of the box, and on the left side then we've got a full body shot of the figure. On the back then we've got another big circular window into the figure, as well as a picture of the figure from behind. A close up of her face on the top of the box, as well as more windows, and again there are these small holes which just, I don't know what to say, I really like these sort of small details on a box. But anyway, that's enough about the box, let's bust this thing open and see what we've got. So just one piece of tape there, nope, there's more, one over there as well as one over here as well. There we go, that was pretty simple, and then open up the top and get out that inner packaging. And then down in the bottom of the box, we've got those instructions. Actually, it turns out that this is just a list of things not to do. But anyway, it looks pretty self-explanatory, so let's get it out of that clear packaging and check it out. So there doesn't seem to be any tape on here, so they should open up simply enough. Yep, pretty simple. So in here we've got the base, the twin tails which aren't attached in the box, as well as the figure itself. So first off is the base, and that's a pretty nice touch making it look like a road, with the paint marking over here. The figure itself has some packaging on it that comes off pretty easy, and then just attaches onto these two little pins down here. Just like that. The twin tails then, which I have to point out, have this nice metal pin, which makes me very happy. They just connect into the sides of her head, just like that. And then the one on the right. And that's what that one looks like. So that is it for that very quick unboxing and so far as you can see Max Factory has totally done it again. This is another fantastic looking figure. Of course there will be a review on its way very soon but until then if you want yourself one of these then check out that link in the description below. So as always thank you very much for watching and make sure to come back for more figure unboxings. See you next time.